striker and then the hugely talented middle blocker Haley Washington but won't be joined by yesterday's middle blocking partner Dana Redka so uh, Chiaka Ogbogu will be the second of the middle blockers for the USA and this really is a new look lineup for Team USA and I think maybe partly with uh, Paolo Gonu in mind Karch Kirai going with some taller high jumping players here so Kingdon and Lee through the outside Hancock the playmaker Thompson opposite with Washington and Ogbogu through the middle and now to meet the Azuri starting lineup Indra Sorokaiti had a good game yesterday 17 points against the Dominican Republic she'll be the key in that opposite spiker position Ophelia Malinoff should be the playmaker. The two middle blockers will be the captain, Cristina Ciricella, and the very tall Anna Danesi. So it's a big unit in the middle of the court for Italy, looking to shut down the USA offense. Rosetti and Silla on through the outside. Malinoff and Sorokaiti, playmaker and opposite spiker, Ciricella and Danesi, the tall middle blockers. And keep an eye on the uh, libero for Italy because Monica Di Gennaro has been amazing this week. There he is, one of the legends of the game, uh, one of only four players to win a, an Olympic medal as a coach and player. And there's the man in charge of Italy, Davide Mazzanti, took over after the last Olympic Games to guide this team into what he hopes will be a gold medal winning performance in Tokyo 2020. I'm sure most of you watching will have been looking forward to this one all day. The crowd here in Conegliana certainly have been. Great lineup of players and a very new look lineup down there on court for both teams. Some interesting starters called into action here for what should be an intriguing battle. The countdown is over. It's time to get this game on. Italy serve against the USA. Set one underway. And what a start. Oh, ho, ho, belting spike from Chiaco Bogu. 24-year-old USA middle blocker. Hit that ball very hard. Sends Madison Kingdom back to the service line. Hit the winning spike yesterday. In their match against Serbia. Oh, and a great response. And if that is how this match is going to continue, here we go. Silla through the wing for Italy. Miriam Silla with a devastating spike. The Pallavolo Scandici outside player. Spikes the ball at 3 metres 20 and not the only player that's up there in the clouds. And Hancock going for a second time to the middle. Uh, Ogbogu's not so sure about this one, but her players and her coach think this is in. So we're going to see the first challenge of the game on point three. USA going to ask the video referee to take a look and see if this is in or out on the sideline. Chance for the coaches, of course, to get more messages across to the players. Here we go. First challenge for the USA is a good one. Well seen by the players in front court. Ogbogu was a little more confident than I originally thought. Point USA. And sends the winner of that point back to the service line. Jack Ogbogu plays her professional volleyball in Poland with Czemek Policzy. Dig Hancock down the line. It's coming back as a free ball here to Italy. No, it's not coming back at all. Simone Lee into the net. Well, it's tough at this level to win a point from the floor. And Simone Lee just trying to be a little too cute with that roll shot. The 22 year old sticking the ball into the net. First jump serve opportunity for Sorokaiti, and she's wailed that out the back. I wonder what her mindset would have been if uh, Egonu was on the bench. It would have been a tough one for the very experienced 30-year-old. But 
no, it's going to have to be her all the way in this match. Jordan Thompson. Thompson in the number 12 shirt for the USA. 22 years of age, has decided to stay in the USA on a, a contract with the national team rather than travel abroad for pro experience. Got a slightly built opposite spiker, but power to rate ratio, she jumps so high. Great set. What a great set. That's a beautiful feed out to Scylla. Doesn't need many invitations, Scylla, to put a dent in the opponent's court. And a super spike from her. Just way off the floor. Contact point up there at 320 for Scylla. Finesse shot, follows power. Simone Lee with a tip down the line, onto the line. And I think we might see a challenge here from Italy. Ophelia Malinov, the setter for Italy, absolutely convinced this one has missed the sideline. <laughs> oh, it's a net fault challenge. I thought it was for the sideline, but no. Italy think they saw a touch on the net from uh, the players at the end of that rally. And as she lands, collapses forward Simone Lee, and uh, there is a net touch, but I think it's actually Malinoff who's brushed the net, so this should still be USA's point. It is. Strange challenge. Challenge lost, remember? Two challenges per set. If you challenge and you're wrong, you lose it. Sometimes in more ways than one. 5-3 USA in this first set race to 25. Well, we're going to see that quite a lot tonight. Two players from the same club, Malinoff and Bozzetti, will try and run the fast flat ball out to the wing. But if the blockers read it, it's quite tough for Lucia Bozzetti to get it past them. Nice read from Hancock, shut down from the US captain. Simone Lee. Relatively fast for Bozzetti, who spins it down the line. Oh, 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 wow! What a shot! Well, I told you this player could jump. Jordan Thompson, absolutely flying, but forget that. Watch the arm speed. That is a blur. 88.9 kilometers per hour. All completely under control from Thompson. What a start from her to this match. What a comeback from Italy. Captain Cristina Tiritiella with a super spike. 25-year-old from the Aguil Volleyball Club in Italy. Rising high and just cutting that back across her body, giving Washington and the defenders no chance. Just clips Thompson on the head for good measure. Brilliant serve. Two quick points for the Italian captain. And our first ace of the game. Jumps high, hits it flat and fast up into the chest of Lee. He just can't quite get out of the way to get the arms on the ball and direct it to the setter. Wonderful from Italy, three points in a row. Malinov, the tallest player, Danesi in the middle. I think Bozzetti got across here to just seal the cross court. She did, but it's actually all Malinov. Kingdon shut down. Missouri flying. Certainly back in this first set. Oh, that is clever. That's real vision from Malinov. Had a little look before she jumped, just to check that the line was open. And then a hop into the air, and a very nicely controlled kill. Clever volleyball from Italy's playmaker. And she gets herself an attacking point on the board. Good save. 
from Kingdon. But the worrying signs here for me are that the USA pass on the right side of court, which is Simone Lee's side, along with the libero Courtney, just fell to pieces there. They do lead at the technical timeout. If you need it, it's over the third block. The medal's going to have a hard time getting that out. Sila, Simone, you got to play for him. Get him bail out. That's really important. Okay, lineups are good. Lineups are good. She's squatted down, facing forward. Just go, trip. Play for him. Pick his opponent. Assistant coach, uh, Luca Slave. For the USA tends to come in in the second half of the timeout to deliver his pearls of wisdom. And a little bit concerned that number 21, Simone Lee, was deserting her post in defence without really waiting for the play to develop. She's also moving quite a bit on the pass, just taking a bit of time to settle. But coaches know that all good players will finally get a rhythm in the game, they'll find a way in. Remember, there's some excellent players on the bench for the USA that can come in if required. Sarah Parsons in particular in that wing spiker position. Sodakaiti hasn't really got into the match yet, Sodakaiti. And she won't get into the match with sets like that. In the sport of rugby, we call that a hospital pass. Malinoff has absolutely done her opposite there. Way too low, way too far in front of her. Way too easy for the blocker to finish. US coaching staff like that one. Line seven, Team USA. Nicely managed. There are more, many, many more, sorry, balanced spikers in the world than Lucia Bazzetti. Look at this. Really straight in the air, controls that forward momentum and channels it into a really good jump. Super player, Lucia Bozzetti. Good jump serve from Malinoff. Once again, targeting Simone Lee. Kingdon off the net, can't put it away. Easy pick up for Di Gennaro. It's a better set. But USA hustling here. Zetti wide, has to get a reuse play. And again, putting much away Bazzetti at the moment. Oh, but the run around gets the job done. Beautiful slide D from Obogu. It's her third point on the board. Watched it all the way, knew the line was open. And a belting rally, 28.3 seconds then for that last rally. You can see why the players are breathing so hard, middle players especially. Rosetti again, not killing the ball. But it doesn't matter too much when you've got a block like Sorokaiti and Danesi next to each other. That fast and furious arm of Thompson. Able to get past Danesi. <laughs> he plays, he plays every point as Karchkirai, and he has been doing so for the best part of 40 years. Nice touch off the block from Kingdom. Block out hit for the USA. Gets another point on the board. Just catching a very faint touch, but no challenge from Italy. Well, Di Gennaro has been superb in the libero position. It's a completely undervalued skill, but the ability to judge whether a ball is in or out on that baseline is priceless for the serving receivers. Well, the rotation from Lee, and uh, she's not made a good start to this match, Simone Lee. It's her volleyball with Belik Duzu in uh, Turkey. This evening for Team 
Let's say. Players out there on court for the Americans with uh, not that much experience. And I don't know how much longer Karch Garay. From such a talented player. Ogbogu, though, has started quite superbly through the middle. I promise you, he's got a language of his own down there in the timeouts. Snap on gap. We'll try and work it out for you. Just deliver that quick phrase, all the players know what you're talking about. Service error from Danese, who's usually a pretty strong server. But just overcooking that one. 1m98 one tall, Danese. taller than the player that isn't on court tonight and, uh, and won't be playing in tonight's match. Paolo Egonu, ill. Rested this evening by Davide Mazzanti. Huge concern for the Italian team is that Sorokaiti isn't putting the ball away and Bozzetti isn't putting the ball away. That's not a problem for Thompson. Second kill for her. Good comeback after the block of Danese the last time she spiked. Sends uh, Chaka Ogbogu back to the service line. Sorokaiti still can't kill him. I think she's getting the best of sets at the moment from Malinov. It's a wild one from Sule. Seeing the funny side of it, Gennaro, Di Gennaro will be too happy with this. Fantastic jump reverse set from the libero. And Sula just wailed it straight out of court. Coaches know that the first set is the chance for both teams to really just scope each other out. And we both know that once the players settle into the match, then we'll start to see the best of both sides. But there is a concern at the moment down there for Italy. Both the left and right side of court, Bozzetti and Sorokaiti not putting the ball on the floor at the moment. And USA to control things reasonably well. 14-12 up then, the Americans. Silla into the block. Oh, that is incredible movement. Well, I think it was uh, all Jordan Thompson, but how on earth did Hayley Washington get herself across? Oh, what a stretch to close down the diagonal. And that basically forced Italian captain Tiricella to change the direction of her spike straight into the block of Thompson. And a shutdown from Thompson at the net. Missed set, it was there to be blocked. So on that particular occasion, Thompson not reaching over illegally. And the second technical timeout arrives, USA in control here, four points up. Step to the right. Make sure she pick approaches. She's available. Okay, they have to find out the solution. 
So good for Team USA. Some terrific shots. That was the opener through the middle. Chuck Dogbogu. It's some shot. Well worth the celebration. Basically, this year, USA have almost three inter interchangeable squads. They've got almost three starting lineups that I think can compete against pretty much every team. So Karchki Rai with a wonderful problem in terms of who he decides to take to Tokyo. It's a problem every coach would love to have. Abundance of talent at the moment in this US lineup. Malinoff has lost her place on court then. So the Italian playmaker is out. New playmaker onto the court will be Oro. Messia Oro, the 20 year old from Yerba Volley. This is sometimes the case. You make your substitution, you bring your new setter on, and then the team can't pass to her. Italy need to tighten things up here. Slide option, but very, very well controlled. Unless they can't put it away, Sodakaiti. Well, bizarrely, Sorokaiti is still looking for her first kill of the game. Beautiful. Marcelo oh, is an explosive athlete. It's a really good head-to-head -head contest down there on court. Sulla versus Washington. On that occasion. It's the Italian wing spiker, Sulla, that wins it out. Mega rally and a superb finish. And defensively, it was all about the block, really, slowing the ball down until finally Sulla manages to get the spike away. She enjoyed that one. 17-13, though, still to the USA. Good four-point lead as we head into the business end this opening set. Sadakaiti jumper is a cracker. Oh, brilliant. And Otto going to Chiracella, the captain. Chiracella, who has a phenomenal spike reach. One of these tall players that really jumps. She's cranked that one. Two huge hits from uh, Italy, one after the other. But can't follow it with a huge serve, so... Sodakaiti still to come to life in this game. No points for Italy's big scorer in this match. Jordan Thompson. Decent serve onto Sulla, well controlled. Sodakaiti at last. There we go. She's in the game. Substitution. Off comes uh, Silla. Off comes Lucia Bazzetti's sister, younger sister, Katarina Bazzetti. On for her service skills. Way to reward your coach for putting you on court. I always think it's a huge amount of pressure for players to come on from the bench. Eric Sato made it popular for Team USA back in the 80s. He used to come on and belt those unbelievable jump serves. I recall seeing him ever miss one from the bench, but it's not an easy skill. Oh, good blocking. Great recovery from the USA. Kingdon. Three blockers to beat, but she can't get it past them. Italy with another monster block. Oro Pazzetti and Ciricella, the captain, in the middle. Now, who did Kingdon go at? I suspect she went at blocker number three, Bazzetti. She did. Bazzetti shut the lights out. Well, it's exactly what the coach has told the wing spikers to do. Go at the third blocker if there are three in the air. 
but Bozzetti sealing that quite brilliantly. Giannicella to serve. Dangerous float serve this, well controlled. And a very, very nice run around from Hayley Washington. Not said much about Washington, plays for Volley Brescia in the top division here in Italy. So well known to the fans getting increasingly well known on the world stage because she is some player in the number 22 shirt for the USA. Nice swing, cross court. Bazzetti demanding this quick ball. She wants the ball flown at her incredibly quickly, flat, fast, wide and then she'll try and use and abuse the blockers who can't quite get organised. Set her on court, Otto with the serve. That moved a long way. No, not coming back, and, and that's just uh, two players clashing as they dive to the floor to defend the ball. And that meant a shank pass that Bozzetti couldn't recover, and not a lot of happy players out there on court for Italy. That was some rise, wasn't it, on the block from Bozzetti. Fantastic shots from the side of this court. Underlining the athleticism of the athletes out there now. Is that an ace? It is, says the referee. Is it going to be a challenge? No, it's just a timeout. Davide Mazzanti knows that his Zuri team are in trouble here. Courtesy of the US captain Hancock. Oh, it's right inside the court. It's not encouraging for Italy, the scoreline, 22-17, but I would say there's a couple of provisos in there. They've got some bench players that they can go to. At the moment, they're playing too short of a full complement because Sotokaiti has only contributed one point and Lucia Bazzetti only three. Those two wide hitters you would normally expect to be into some pretty decent numbers by now. So there's plenty of room for improvement here for the Italian side. Pass. Is that too long? No touch on the block. And let's not forget, we've also got Elena Pietrini, the 19-year-old from Club Italia, still to come on for Italy if required. off substituted setter and Pietrini right on cue comes in to replace Bozzetti so quite a lot of changes here from Mazzanti and you can afford to do it a couple of points still to play with so why not bring Pietrini and see what she's looking like out there on court but also just take Bozzetti's head out of the game just sit her down on the bench for a while chill out a bit take a look back on, although with spikes like that from Pietrini, Rossetti might struggle to get back on. Lucia, that is. Christina's still out there. Great one from the youngster. Decent serve as well. Continuation play. Otto on the reverse. Sotokaiti! Oh, that's more like it from Indra Sotokaiti. She loves this shot. Comes screaming in on the angle like she's going to murder it cross court and then whips it back to the line. She's beat Courtney, the libero for the USA. All ends up with that. Super spike. Caterina Bozzetti then. Kate's the court, the two Bozzetti sisters off to the substitutes area for a chat. And Pietrini with an ace. I think uh, Davide Mazzanti is going to struggle to take Pietrini off court to start the second set. Timeout, Karchki Rai. 
He's seen enough. And this is where the pressure's coming from. Great serve from the teenager. And a great reaction. Still in really new to international volleyball, but loving every second. There's a, a little bit of an anxious expression on a few faces down there. Team USA. Still got a, a really handy three-point cushion here. One good pass, one good attack, take the service back. Pietrini, decent serve, well passed though. And put away with some ease. Thompson demonstrating that the skill that every good opposite spiker has to have, the ability to hit both left and right side of court, isn't a problem. Three metres in the air for the contact point on the ball. That is stunning. Set point USA, four of them. Sonikaiti's got uh, teeth into this game now. And this is much more encouraging for Italy. Bit of momentum towards the back end of this opening set. Someone Lee trying to go wide and cover that line shot, but a clever change up from Sodakaiti. Lee from the wing, defended by Pietrini. Sodakaiti cuts it, but nice pick up from Courtney. Silla, Hancock's on it. Courtney sets, Thompson, wide and out. Great scrap from the Italian team to earn a point and save a set point. Lead reduced to two. It's not far away. Oh, dear. Well, wouldn't you know it? Second service error from the middle blocker, Danese. And it gives the USA the first set just when Italy were getting early doors. So good service pressure. You heard uh, Karch Kirai actually say that in one of the timeouts to his US team. It was very good service pressure. Those coaches that you can certainly say have seen it, done it and got the t-shirt. There we go, Pietrini is going to start set two for Italy. Not surprised to see that. Need to find out though who's off court, is it? Chia Bozzetti, or is it the other wing spiker, Miriam Silla? I think it's Bozzetti that's gone. It's all high tech now. In the old days, the second official used to have a little scrap of paper with the numbers written on. But it's all electronic these days. And fantastic too. Silla is still on court for Italy. Pietrini, though, doesn't start well. Although, again, Italian setter really selling her down the river there into the block. The monster block. Not a matter of routine. These have still got to be completed, but you would hope that a player jumping that high with a ball that close to the net is going to get the shutdown. That's exactly what Chaka Ogbogu has done there. Great block from her to start this set. Shot. <laughs> it's a wonderful shot. So far off the net as well, Miriam Sule. She's the back court wing spiker, and she's leapt into the front court zone from the back line to hit an absolute screamer of a spike. Brilliant from Italy. Pietrini caused problems for the USA with her serve in set one. Great try from Alessia Oro, who's managed to keep her place on court. Playmaker for 
this Italian side. Doesn't have too many club mates <laughs> in the team. Looking pretty relaxed on the sidelines. Sarah Parsons for the USA, seeing herself on the big screen and having a bit of fun. And uh, Miriam Sulla is killing the ball for fun at the moment. Good tip. Not so much of a finesse shot here, more of a power tip from her. Forcing this inside the block and down to beat Cox's sprawling defence. Oh well, the middle player has to move from their rotational position here and try and get into the net. And part of that means they run across the passer. And Ogbogu then becoming an obstacle yet again. USA, though, want to doing that at the net. Could pick up Sadakaiti. Silla in off the wing. <laughs> never going to go past Ogboku's block. Thompson lining this up brilliantly. And getting all of it. USA lead by one here in Conegliano. Real hotbed of Italian volleyball. And uh, Sulla has looked quite brilliant at the start of this set. See it in the eyes, can't you, when a player is engaged with the action. Everything lights up, the eyes wide open. Sadakaiti not yet fully engaged with this match. Oh, superb. That's the new look USA middle attack. I love it. And it's starting to work for them. They're effectively running a slide D footwork pattern, but instead of going behind the setter, they jump into the A quick position. It's really clever. I think we'll see more and more of that. So Daisy from Thompson. <laughs> it was a look in the eyes of Davide Mazzanti, but uh, better not translate. Probably not broadcastable. Simone Lee gets a reuse. She's managed to hold her place on court. Four marks to her. That wing spiking position had a tough start to this game. Silla, back line again. Oh, superb. Absolutely superb. Well, we saw Paula Egonu hit a few shots like that in yesterday's match against the Dominican Republic. Now, I think we're going to have a challenge from Team USA here. Now, this could be ball in or out. It is. The other option would have been did it brush the antenna? Love the drama of the challenge. It's a fantastic addition to this sport. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. USA lose one of their two challenges in set two. by Silla. A cagey rally. And finally, Italy get control of the ball. And Cristina Ciricella. Let's hope she doesn't use that footwork in the nightclubs. Just about gets out of the way of the ball. There's the 25-year-old Italian captain. Great slide D, good swing. And then Paul, like a heat seeking missile, coming back to find her. And it was Chiricella versus the ball. She got out the way. Into the antenna. Second point for the Azuri as they pull away pretty comfortably in set two. 8 4 up. And this match swings back towards the home side at the first technical timeout.
say, okay? Let's go. Really enjoying this contest. Fans certainly are. Canelliano, now that the Italian team have come to the party, as it were. I'm just watching the coaches, and they are loving being involved in a really technical game here. It's quite a big game of chess going on down there on court. Silla at the moment, Italy's queen. Really jackknifes, doesn't she, on the spike. But all the power has been delivered to the ball by the time she folds up in the air. that front slide and uh, it's already Italy's point again so how far over the line Thompson was and a few errors creeping in here for Team USA to deliver their own error from the service line. <laughs> Silla's allowed, you see, because she's been brilliant at the start of this set, so she can miss a serve or two. Slowly back to the service line. A couple of the uh, US players playing in Turkey for the Belikduzu club. Andri, uh, Annie Drews is uh, the other one. Plays alongside Simone Lee in the lineup. Turkey, nice finish. Good shot from Kingdom. It's a joy to watch, isn't it? It, it is many people's favourite skill in the game, the spike. A thing of beauty, especially when it's hit like that. But let's not forget there are two things that have to happen before a spike can really occur. Good pass, good set, and it all gets finished by the big players. Pietrini with a wonderful kill down the line. Two super spikes back to back. Look at the reach here from Pietrini. It's a fast feed from Oro, and she reaches right over the top of Hancock. Just opens up the whole court. She can hit this where she wants, and she chooses just to thump it down the line. The same issue again, two in a row. And uh, Jordan Thompson has just got her, her angles wrong here. You Six, USA timeout. applying the it ain't rocket science principle down there in the timeout area and he's absolutely right players get ahead of themselves players go to the service line and think I've got to hit five aces no it's a point at a time just play the point that's in front of you get that one and try and build the pressure Ciricella Italian captain with the serve that's part of the equation taken care of. Kingdom puts the ball away. And now it's back to the line. The only close skill in the game of volleyball. The service, as much pressure as there is, you have the ball in your hand. No other player can influence this. Washington, good deep serve on Silla. Silla back line, tips it, easily read. Oh, great hustle from Di Gennaro. USA might challenge this one. That looked like a pretty good pickup from Hancock, but referee says this hit part of the floor. 
Beautifully done by both teams. Starting with a good deep serve. Put Silla under pressure. Back comes Silla with a cracking tip. And Washington, that is some pickup from a middle player. Full marks to her. Oh, wonderful. Silla's on fire. If Italy win this point, the roof's coming off. They are not going to, though. Three players converge on the tip. Nobody gets the touch. But it's exactly that. The stadium announcer has nailed it. Spectacular pickup from Silla. Look at this. Excellent wheels from the number 17. But a clever bit of play from Kingdon. She's putting the ball away solidly, the wing spiker at the moment, the number nine for the USA. She goes once again to the left side of court. Pietrini. Nails another cracker. Straight at the American captain, Hancock. Say team, love a discussion to analyse the last point, try and learn from it what they can moving forward. Nice pass, Corny. Very calm dig from Pietrini, and that brings Silla into the action. Missed it and missed the block. She absolutely unloaded on this one as well. Well, she thinks he got a touch, and Davide Mazzanti is happy to go with it. I, I think Italy just happy to slow the game up here because uh, they don't want USA to get any rhythm. So, did it touch any part of the blocker's arms or hands or head? Any touch on the body counts. No, oh, I think that's just scraped past. Not even the fingernail. Confirmato. Of Kingdon. Confirmato. La sensazione della coppia arbitrale. Worth a shout, but they've lost that challenge. Still a very handy lead for the Azuri. Gennaro, the libero, free roaming substitution, so it doesn't actually count to all of the team substitutions you can make in a set. The libero just wanders on and off court in between points. Just for the USA. Pick of the middle blockers at the moment out there for Team USA, certainly Chiaco Bogu. Remember, we've got Dana Retka on the bench. What well, an awkward fall there for uh, the captain of Italy, Tiratiella. Just maximum effort, isn't it? Even when that it looks like a situation that cannot be recovered, the players still throw themselves at the ball. That's not great. Two service errors in a row. He's uh, Bobby with the error. Sorokaidi jump serve then. Still only four points in this match. The Italian opposite. Superb. That is just a brilliant set. And Oro is making it tick down there for Italy. Second technical timeout arrives. A super spike, but this was all down to the pass. And a brilliantly flighted set over the top of the middle player. Just pin those blockers. And the crowd, Marin Conegliano, are singing. And why not? Their team is playing some great stuff in this second set. What do we think? Five sets? I think 
there's every chance. Not sure either of these teams is going to be able to maintain high enough quality for long enough in a set to keep winning consistently. I think we'll see a bit of back and forth here. Great atmosphere. In an arena, the Zoppas Arena here in Conegliano that has seen some amazing volleyball down the years. The Conegliano team runners up to Navarra in the Champions League final in Berlin. Sonakaiti is gradually getting back in business. Wonderful ace. She meant that. Full power, bad leave for Kingdom. <laughs> and the salute from Alberti. Slave can get super technical sometimes, but just trying to restate the basics. And it's easy, it happens easily. When a, an opposition team get the ball under control and start running these complex offenses, it's very easy to drift away from your positions and start chasing the ball, chasing the game. Side out, decent set from Hancock under pressure. First outing for not just Poulter in the number two shirt, but Annie Drews. So a bit of experience coming on in the shape of Annie Drews. And uh, a very new young setter. The player that plays a volleyball here in Italy for Chiari 76, Jordan Poulter. A tall setter, every coach's dream, six feet two. Very powerful player, very good hitter in her own right. But has chosen the playmaker position to pursue her international career. Good serve on Silla. And that is how you reward your coach for putting you on the court. Here we go. Here's an ace, Karch. Cracking serve, Silla in a bit of bother here on the pass. Manages to smash her way out of it. That is proper smash and grab from Silla. All sorts of trouble on that pass. There was virtually no other area that Oro or Diginaro could set the ball to. They had to go to Silla. She's just gone straight over the top of the three-woman block. Six-point lead restored. Yeah, well done. Washington playing that ball just before it went over into Italian airspace. Ball comes back, it's right over the top of the net. Referee's got that cool spot on. And it's still perfectly within Hayley Washington's range of play. Slide D, blocked. Di Gennaro goes high to Pietrini. She's blocked. Petrini again. Oh, not this time. Fantastic cross-court angle from Ella Petrini. I think Italy might have their new Piccinini here. One of the legends of teams gone by. Still playing. Still very much part of the action. The Navarra team. So back end of this second set, this is now about some momentum for Team USA, just like Italy managed to do at the end of the first set when they were losing quite badly. Came back into it really strongly. Give it another put away. Long from Washington and way long. Work 
load being shared pretty evenly. Kingdon's got eight points for the USA. And Bogu seven. They need Annie Drews to get into this. She does a beautiful shot from the other opposite. Spiker on the other side of the net. So the Katie moves her to six points for the game. Best scorer though. No prizes for guessing on the uh, Italian side. It's number 17, Miriam Silla. Encouragingly for Italy, because of the lead that they have here, the six-point lead, they don't need to score another point from their own service. They actually just wait for the whistle, throw it in the crowd, and then go and side out all the way through to 25. You're never going to do that. You want to pick up bonus points off your serve if you can. So there's the attacking team with the advantage. If they can pass that ball, they will have the advantage in attack. Hancock to serve. Good line-up for the USA in front court. Well, it was a very unconventional pass from Miriam Silla, but it went on the setter's head. That allowed Oro to feed one of the four players at the moment, Pietrini. Magnificent. Lovely pass. Wonderful pick-up, Oro. Sotokaiti. This time, her uh, favoured line shot doesn't work. That's the problem. If she doesn't quite beat the ball into that diagonal, if she doesn't quite get there at the high point, she can sometimes do this and hook it into the antenna. See how well covered Jordan had this. Yeah, it was all over it, Jordan Thompson. So Casey has to tip. Great pick up from Thompson. Back on court with that double substitution reversed. Double quick from Italy and USA blockers completely stranded by an attack that the famous 1980s USA gold medal winning team on the men's division invented the double quick either side of the setter. Nicely done. Go. Two players running quickly at the setter, two blockers wondering what on earth to do. Now, we saw a comeback from Italy in set one from a similar position. Not quite all the way, but can they get a comeback here? And uh, the woman that basically served the fault in set one to give USA the set has just served another one. Danesi. Not getting any serves in at the moment at all, the Italian middle blocker. Bogu for USA. Good pass, Pietrini. And Pietrini goes and hits her own uh, follow-up set. Very, very nice. So pass the ball in and then just tracked into the net. This is really good. And that's a fine set from Oro, opened up all the angles. Loads of set points here for Italy. And on the Sorokaiti serve. She fancied that. That was a serve to nothing. Just got up there and wellied it. It's gone right into the far corner. That is an impressive finish for Italy. Bang on the line. I think we can say Sorokaiti's in the game now. Eight points for her. Well, that's the star of the show, Silla, in set one for Italy, Miriam Silla. So, yeah, a biomechanist by trade. Intelligent man, Karaj Karai, could have pursued a medical career after university, but decided, as you do, we need the best player in the world to carry on playing volleyball. And he kind of applies that rigor, academic rigor, to the way that he researches volleyball matches. A few plans up his sleeve here to recover the situation. Set two goes to Italy. It's one all. Set three starts with a serve error from Pietrini. Just brilliant. 
So unorthodox. So unlike any shot that Miriam Silla would normally hit, but she's charged in off her wing. Hustled to the ball and rolled it into space. Now, Danese has had all sorts of problems from the service line. Finally gets a lollipop serve in. Easy pass for Courtney. <laughs> Very messy again from Italy. I, I really wouldn't be surprised if this game now swings back to the USA. And then Italy will be facing a comeback to try and force a fifth and deciding set. Just trying to bite off a little bit too much on that spike. Nations League action, day two on week two of the 2019 tournament. The biggest sporting spectacles on the planet. We're going to action next week. Oh, well played from Hancock to try and keep that up off the floor. But it's a third ace. In fact, it might be a fourth ace for Sorokaiti. This, though, the most fortunate of them. Virtually unplayable. Well, that was a cracking pancake pickup. Yeah. As that fully appreciative of the American captain's efforts. Three all. It is three aces for Sorokaiti. There won't be four, not for the moment. Thompson to serve, 22-year-old from the USA. A big hit from Silla, but what a frustrating contact, so the ball has just flown off her hand instead of being wrapped down into court. Still got Bozzetti in reserve if uh, Lucia Bozzetti needs to come in if Silla goes off the boil. Attack easily read, but the Italian block unusually not well formed. It's one of the great disciplines of Italian volleyball in organized block. But no, Otto not able to get across and close. Those classic Sorokaiti inside to out shots. I get tired of watching them. Davide Mazzanti reminds me a little bit of the uh, Turkish coach in uh, Italy, Giovanni Guadetti. He's done wonders with the Turkish team on the international stage. There's a bit of mischief about them. They were smiling, always chatting. They were always watching for the next big opportunity. Italy need one here. Italy need a kill. Thompson serves. The game is swinging back to the States at the moment. Simone Lee. It's something of a rarity in this match. A kill. Two points now to her name. And, uh, credit. To the US coaching staff, they've stuck with this lineup. Thanks, 
excellent shot from Sonakaiti, a little laboured. Again, not the smoothest flow to the net. I think she's having a few problems just getting rhythm off the sets. Yeah, that was a bit too wide, but she's managed it well. Don't want to be chasing that outside as an opposite player. Good kill, though. Silla to serve. all created because Silla just goes so aggressive at the ball. Even if it's going to be a finesse shot, the first part of this is aggression. And then the change up to the tip. It just sets the American defenders back on their heels. <laughs> sure what the problem was there for uh, Miriam Silla, but she's missed the serve. USA lead 8-5 at the first technical timeout in set three. So set in front, says Lucas Slave. He wants the team to D up, so be nice and solid, nice and stable in defence. If it's a slide attack, then he said you spread out a bit on the court, cover a bit more. Great look at some of the earlier action in this match, Bozzetti with the block. A few handy kills in particular for him. Kingdon, still one of the leading scorers through that wing spiker position for the USA, the number nine. And appropriately, nine points. Good pass from Silla. Really wonderful attack from Italy. All happened on that right side of court, Silla into the setter and passing on that angle is what we would call a negative ball. So it's got a lot of energy in it going past the setter and Mochoro forced that on the return. Just gets it on the reverse to the captain, Chiricella, for a really good kill. Pass should be the Italian point here. Not a great set from Oro, but a good recycle. USA's turn to attack for the point. And that's not very fluid either. Silla from that strange backline position. He's got another kill. Actually, Silla involved in. Cycling the ball. It's not usual for wing spikers to hit that backcourt attack from so far over on the left hand side because normally you've got your other wing spiker there hitting in that zone. So Italy making some points up as they go, but it's uh, working very well. Easy closing the gap. Good serve, just long. Chiricella. <laughs> Pantomime as she comes off the court, disappointed after the serve, of course, but captain's fine. And Washington. Good first set, but she's been net relatively quiet since then. Oh, and, uh, Otto goes over on two. going to be a battle today. Two players now in double figures for Italy. Sadakaiti on 10, Silla on 12. 
No players in double figures at the moment for the States. Really nice work. That is the definition of a swing hitter. Creation of US coach Doug Beale. That gold medal winning side that Karch Kirai was so vital to. But the wing spiker essentially passing as many of the services as they can and then swinging out to the wing to hit the ball. That demonstration from Kingdom. Just in. Not intentionally lobbed over the defenders. It's just the way it comes off the hands sometimes, but good enough for Italy's point. Big hit from Jordan Thompson. has gone high at the hands, done all the things right, but Danesi puts up a huge obstacle. One metre 98 tall is Anna Danesi. Plays volleyball for the Canegliano club, so this is her home turf. And reaches to three metres on the block. Oh, but she's tough to beat. You're saying a bit of trouble in this rally. Italy to win it. Sarakaiti has to tip. Well, she'll take it. But it just feels to me like Oro's gone a little bit off the boil, number eight, the Italian setter. Just a little concerned with her handling at the moment. Can't quite get it into the areas she wants. But fortunately for her, Sarakaiti with a presence of mind to make the tip. And Karch Kirai said that Courtney would get the next play, Megan Courtney. She nearly did. Burns with a volleyball intensity that not many on the planet do. Ian Bernardini. Just not quite as animated as his Brazilian counterpart on the sideline. Got taken on by uh, Hugh McCutcheon, Kachikirai, as the assistant to the women's program after coaching his two sons, Christian and Corey, at high school. So despite the number of tips that we've seen there out on court, Lucas Slade still saying that the USA team in defense have got to play for the hit. Kirai takes care of uh, everything in offense. Uh, sorry, in uh, yeah, offense, and uh, Lucas Slade takes care of the defensive side. Okay, Hancock not jumping there because she's the backcourt setter, so she can't form a block at the net. Same again, just has to stand there with her hands in the air and watch it sail past. Danessi with the overpass kill. P Pietrini, just like she did when she came on in the first set, causing all sorts of problems for the USA passers. Problems caused there, though. Well, anyone that watches Family Guy will have smiled at the same time as me, I'm sure. Yeah, nice swing. Really nice swing. Do you know what? She's only 19, Pietrini, but she is the real deal. She's a proper player. Uh, yet again underlining just how good the Club Italia program designed by head of volleyball in uh, Italy Julio Velasco, former head coach set up this club for young players to come and play professional volleyball in before they go into uh, transition phase and get signed by the bigger teams in the division 
just keep churning out the superstars. Been a long time since we've seen a good high hitting kill from Chuck Ogbogu. That's probably an indication that the US pass has not been particularly accurate through sets two and three. Ogbogu with the serve. Pietrini can do it all, can't she? They're going to have to go again, Italy. Di Gennaro into the setter. Fierce hit by Silla. Well picked up by Ogbogu. And uh, Sarakaiti. Will claim for a touch here, turns immediately to Davide Mazzanti and asks him to find the challenge button on the tablet. And away we go. Well, I've not seen Sodakaiti more convinced about a point so far this week, so I think we may see this on the slow-mo, just taking a piece of the USA block. It does. The little pinky finger of number 22, Hayley Washington. And there's a, a little tell there as it goes past the blocker. If the blocker's touched it, they turn and look. Human nature, automatic reaction, good challenge by Italy and Sorokaiti, mainly because it sends her back to the service line. Three aces already from her. And a big, heavy serve, well controlled. Point chance, still up. No, oh, no. Overcooked it, Sodakaiti with the set. Just too big. And even the high flying Silla couldn't get to it. Nice recovery. Now, Di Gennaro, Gennaro wanted to set this, but Sodakaiti stepped in front of the libero to do it. Sodakaiti will be wishing that she left it to the libero to set. Di Gennaro takes control. No, no, no. Oh, dear. Well, there's a time for showmanship. There's a time for the circus antics. <laughs> that was not the time from Oro. And uh, great reaction from coach Davide Mazzanti. He, he knows his setter was just trying to do something pretty special there. Jumped as if she was going to hit the ball and then wanted to volley it for a free net, but messed it up. <laughs> the rest of her teammates have seen the funny side of it as well. Very good coach, David Mazzanti. Almost seems too obvious to say these things. We have 16 excellent coaches operating within the VNL in the women's division. I'm sure all of you watching these timeouts at home will have a, a feeling for what kind of style that you would enjoy on the sidelines from a coach. Oh, blimp. On both counts, great spike, great defense. Oh, wow. <laughs> There we go. And that, do you know that? That is part of the Mazanti coaching philosophy. He's, he's been very relaxed about Otto's shocker of a set. And his set has gone straight back on court and made up for it with a monster block on Simone Lee. Bit of payback from the Italian setter to her coach. Good touch. Di Gennaro, though, can't quite bring it back into play. Terrific liberos have done the uh, opposite colour shirt for Italy over the years. But Monica Di Gennaro is pretty special. Another player playing on home turf here at uh, Conegliano. Long. Not for the first time in this match, judging it pretty well. Technical timeout arrives. Italy with a single point lead. We're going to have a close finish, I think, heading into the business end of set three. they ran middle in front, tight quick yeah. So, then it's just fine. Here we go. Hey, no, I know. I know. USA! USA! Let's go! 
Rich Karai, one of the very best service receivers to ever play the game. Just with a bit of advice to Kingdon. And, and a good piece of advice, just get out of the way. If, if the ball's just travelling in a loop and quite high, get out of the way, give yourself room to pass it on the sweet spot of the arms. That's uh, the net touch dace for Sadakaiti. 12 points to her name at the moment. And I still think not firing on all cylinders. I think uh, Italy can get a bit more out of Sorokaiti today. In the absence of Paolo Gonu. Who, if you're wondering where she is, if you've just joined us, Paolo Gonu ill. Not able to play in today's game. And of course, wish her the very best for a speedy recovery. Not sure the other teams in the VNL will be <laughs> feeling exactly the same way. Swing Pietrini off the block and out. Watched the play in uh, Montreux a couple of weeks ago at the Volley Masters, Pietrini. It was my first chance to really see her in action in the senior division. Had a very good junior career and still is a junior, 19 years of age. Still got some development to go. We'll, uh, That'll come, things will tidy up at the net, but she is uh, a real talent. No, poor attack from the USA. Oh dear me, and Sadakaiti with a thundering spike, and that's ricocheted off the defender. Straight into the face of Jordan Thompson. And they hurt. Volleyball's made of relatively soft material. It's like being punched by a boxing glove if it hits you in the face. Back to our good. Time out of the But we're capable of a lot more here. Starts with our eyes and slowing the play down. Putting it up high in the air. Goes over there. Number uh, 14. We're going to be really. So same pattern to the team just goes off the boil. That's exactly what's happening here. Three-point advantage now to Italy. They really should be able to see it across the line for 2-1 from here. Cella with the serve. Nice shot from Kingdom. Didn't have a great game against Serbia. But she's certainly earning her money today. 11 points now to the wing spiker for the USA. It's a good hit. It's a jump from Pietrini to keep that ball in play. And that is a very clever kill from Kingdom. Didn't look to be any room there at all. Just runs it down the line. Normally have the libero shirt on, but I think that today they're playing her as a regular player, team player. So it has to come on as a regular substitution. But can't get anywhere near that one. Sarakaiti comes back with a bit of off-pace magic of her own. Really nice hit. Just between the defenders, deep onto the baseline. Oh dear. from Mary Lake that was the problem. Back to a three-point lead. Kingdom in off the wing, makes it nicely. Italian block got suckered into that one. We're jumping across into the diagonal 
and uh, Kingdom was always going to use the line, always come back to it, and Sadakaiti's left it open. Now, decent front court lineup here for the USA with Hancock in the back line. Some blocking opportunities. Oh, wow! That is a huge, huge stop at the net. Monster block. And what a monster block it was. I tell you what, when Ogbog does something special, she really does it in style. That was straight down. One point in it. Said they had a good blocking lineup in the front court. Oh, but you've got to serve in to use it. And Captain Hancock knows she's made a big blunder there. And it might be enough to hand Italy the set. And wouldn't you know it, back to their most tricky server at the moment, Piatrini. Oh, Di Gennaro annoyed with herself. She put money on herself getting that one. She didn't. Mary Lake off. That'll be her last involvement with this set. Once the players come on and gone off again, they can't be re-involved. Still chances for the USA. Silla, great pass. Oh, that's a wonderful pick-up from Courtney. And magic from Kingdon. Italy's still in it. On the reverse to Sotokaiti. Courtney's on it. It's coming back as a free ball. Italy then can attack for 22-20. Brilliant. Awesome rally. This is a mega rally to live long in the memory. That is a belter. Well, that is the best mega rally we've seen so far this week. It's certainly one of the best we've seen on the VNL this year so far. And it means... USA draw level at 21 all. The players were properly hitting that ball. There was some serious power in that. And it just got dig after dig after dig. Great athleticism from Pietrini. And then a wonderful finishing block. And we are back to all square, 21 apiece. Say with a bit of momentum. Great pass from Di Gennaro. Not a great set from Oro, but they might get away with it here. No, oh, again, she's gone for the jump set and just about keeps it this side of the net. So Katie has a quick word with her playmaker. And you would have seen from uh, Di Gennaro as she just walked off the court there, puff of the cheek. She knows that Italy just getting away with that. Their strongest server back at the baseline. Danesi has missed a few in this match. Doesn't want to miss this one. Good block. Oh, that's great stuff from the Italian captain. And Ciracella lines up Thompson on the cross court beautifully. Points the hands and the arms back in and makes the kill block. 23-21, Italy back in control and they've got a chance here as well. On the reverse, Sotokaiti lines it. Courtney's got a piece of that. But USA can't get a decent attack away. Sotokaiti again. Picked off by Kingdon. Wide to Lee. Oh, brilliant. That is really good. And the USA taking a bit of a chance on that bump set, going really high and really wide. And real commitment from Lee to get this off of Sodakaiti's arm and out. Great hit. Now with four points on the board. Good pass, Pietrini, Silla. To go off pace, no setter for the USA. Bump set to Thompson, and she's been blocked again. I wonder if that double block on Thompson is now going to lead to Annie Drew's 
coming onto court for set four. Jikirai might be considering this. USA looking at going two sets to one down. And once again, Italy have a very good server at the line. Sodakaiti aced it in set two for the win. No. Doesn't matter how hard you hit it, it does not go through the holes on that net. Double sub. Polter on as the playmaker in the back court, and he Drews on in the front court. So this is all about Polter serving well, but Annie Drews being involved in the blocking unit in the front court. So number two, Jordan Polter, the setter, with the ball. It's a good serve, great pass, Pietrini. Silla's tight. Oh, and Drews couldn't get her. That was right into Annie Drews' hands, but Silla just tips as hard as she can off and out. And 25-23, it's close, but Italy move into the lead here in Conegliano. Two seconds. I think if she'd been a bit more in rhythm, she maybe have picked that block up. But it's all uh, immaterial. Italy move into a two sets to one lead now, just one set away from making it five from five on the VNL and knocking Team USA off of top spot in the table. Della Zappa Sarena potrete trovare il libro di Sara Anzanello. Mi raccomando, amici, acquistatelo numerosi perché oh, good crowd, good atmosphere in the Zoppa Arena this evening. Una grande iniziativa per una persona da un giving a real treat, a really good tight battle on the VNL between two fantastic teams. have played well but they're gonna have to play very well I think to get it done in five because there's still a very or get it done in four even there's still a very strong whiff of a five setter in the air Here we go points uh, from Italy in set two in terms of the regions of contact and it's a completely even distribution from right to left side and that shows that Oro is making full use of her wing spikers full use of her opposite attacker Set three, a real change up. Running the middle, running that open channel down the center of the court, trying to pressure those middle blockers, Washington and Ogwogu for the USA, and doing it well. It's a pretty heavy workload for the uh, middle players, but it's worked well. So, nice change up in distribution patterns. Just keeps Yuri with the edge. It's the player I prefer, I think, that is uh, easily translated. Be Miriam Silla. A couple of the Silla fan club there will be enjoying things tonight because she's been a uh, superstar down there in court for Italy. 14 points to her name. Sonakaiti still the top scorer for Italy with 15. And it's been a bit laboured on the USA side of the net. Kingdon has 14 points, so Bogu through the middle has 10. But nobody else really weighing in at the moment. That will not help the USA cause. I know it's only the first point. It just puts you on the back foot straight away. No game time yet for Sarah Parsons in your picture. No real game time for the... Opposite spiker Annie Drews, and she's still not on court. Oh no, she is. My apologies, Drews is on court. So the number 11 
brought into the action by Karch Kirai. Not really surprised to see that. As well as Jordan Thompson have played in the front line. Number 12 for the USA, not able to get into double figures. And uh, you need more from your opposite spiker. So Drew's on. That's the only change for the USA. And a ferocious hit. That middle channel is uh, still providing a really good return for Davide Mazzanti's team. Danesi, good contact point, excellent. Cutting spike past the block and into Uncle Hancock. Danesi to serve. Nice pass from Kingdom. There we go. That's more like it from Simone Lee. It just takes players time to settle in. Not everybody can start. Only, uh, a few kills, and Simone Lee is at last found a more free-flowing spike at the start of this set. Bogu then to serve for the USA. Good pick up from Bogu. Interesting change for Italy. USA are being given that point, so uh, touch called off the block, and if the blocker feels they didn't touch, it will see a challenge from the Italians. But uh, Bozzetti, Lucia Bozzetti, number 16, is back into the action. Just need to see whether it's Miriam Silla or Elena Pietrini that has vacated the court. The Azuri, no challenge, USA point. Pietrini that's still on the court with Bozzetti. So Miriam Silla, as good as she has been. Maybe just over revving a little in that last set. Good put away on the overpass. Momentum swing there is uh, Lucia Bozzetti. Floats like a butterfly, like the tattoo on her shoulder. Stings like a massive sledgehammer when she gets hold of it. A slightly built player, but with a ferocious arm. And this has started very nicely for Team USA. Time out, Davide Mazzanti, because he knows that this match is about to be turned on its head once again. And he also knows that five sets starting to look like a possibility. For the first time in this game, Coach Mazzanti demanding more passion down there on court from the players. Strange play, that one from uh, Chitirella. Somehow managing to find Washington, who was not in a good position and was barely above the net. Chiaco Ogbogu then continues her service run. Handy lead for the USA early doors in set four. 5-2. And uh, she's giving Pietrini a bit of a workout here. The tall teenager for the first time since she's been on court in this match. Looking a bit fragile on the pass. Sorokaiti on her favourite angle. Full marks to the USA, though. They've uh, barely let her hit that today. Taking a really big chunk of cross-court on the block. Oro off. And once again, the set has switched. So, back in comes Ophelia Malinov. Great pass, but no, that's four touches. And 
play a touch that. Petrini getting it over the net, but the fourth touch, and you're only allowed three in volleyball. Crazy game. First technical timeout arrives in set four. Massive lead from State. Generally speaking, USA teams favour a read and react blocking system. This is the player that's set, substituted off for this set, Thompson. He's done some great things out there on court, but just not consistently enough. That's why Drews has been introduced to the action, seems to have uh, certainly got the team playing again. Yeah, the read and react system for the USA means that they try and look at what's happening on the other side. They don't necessarily go for stuff blocks, the big kill blocks. They go to form a barrier that's going to slow the ball down. Just get hands on the attack. Boggy with the serve, silence here in Conegliano. Bring us up as Arena. A messy rally. There's the angle. There we go. So the first one was a practice shot for Sodakaiti. Next one, brilliant. So Malinov and Lucia Bozzetti back on the court. Those are the two players that started in the original lineup for Italy. No, Paola we got to remember tonight. She's uh, poorly. Oh, nice swing. And he drews into the action. Very good serve. Uh, USA have decided here with uh, Silla not on court and Bozzetti. And Di Gennaro, very good service receivers. They've decided Pietrini is the target, and they're going to hammer their serves at her. And to be just fortunate here that Malinov Lucia. able to get a pour on that one. Bozzetti serves. Whoa, way up, way up. It's tough. It's really tough when you've been on the bench for the best part of the match. Really tricky to come on court and immediately have an impact. That's why Annie Drews has done so well. Italy needs Lucia Bozzetti in this match. They needed to be playing. Good pass, Di Gennaro. It's coming back. Oh. <laughs> and the slide D from the Italian captain is wide. You cannot falter for Endeavour, though. Hit the first one, fell over, got up, went again. Not surprised we're going to see an Italian challenge, but Davide Mazzanti, I don't think he's too fussed about the outcome of this one. He's just using it to slow things down. So he's going to ask the question, is the ball in or out? The free, he said it's out. Does Hawkeye agree? All comes up on the tablets and the computers around the, the uh, court, all out. Quite a long way out as well, but Mazzanti knew that. It's just burned that challenge purely to waste a bit of time. Okay. The uh, generally acknowledged signal for challenge in sport these days, the TV set. Signal with the fingers. Could pick up to Gennaro. Bozzetti from the back line. Oh my goodness me. Well, for all the things that Team USA can do, the one thing they don't seem to be able to run successfully is a pipe attack. I'm not saying it's the easiest thing to do, but the volume of training that these teams have under their belt. I thought that would have been something that was a bit more grooved by the States. Blocked. Malinov makes an impact. 
Still got five points to find, Italy. Has to block by the setter. Gonna line this up into the air, good timing, reaches over and just about keeps it inside the sideline. It's a great jump, isn't it? Really high, much higher than the bit of locker next to her. Cipicella, service error from the Italian captain. Just uh, making some demands there on one of the assistant coaches regarding some tactical info. A shot. Big trainer back on it. to be a really strong character, Pietrini has fitted into this Italian team very well. Oh, dear me. Another shocking serve. We've had one from Bozzetti and that absolute exer set from uh, Malinov. Nicely done. Really good rescue from Italy to keep the ball in play, but once again, Chaka Ogbogu showing us what she can do with that incredible spike reach. Really good pick-up. Ogbogu just gets up in the air and puts it away. A couple of substitutions coming, I think. Davide Mazzanti for Italy might bring a few players on here just to scrub this set and then go once again in set five with the lineup that he wants to choose. But both teams will be having to think about which players they want to go within the decider. And a poor serve from Hancock. She's not had a great day at the service line as the American captain. Set pretty well, though. Good work from Matt Kingdon. Not the easiest set to get a hand on that one. Just a tip it just in front of Malinov. Just far enough away from the line to be a real problem for the right-hander to get to. 15 minutes. Nicely done. Well, you saw the statistics uh, that came up for the set distribution in set three from Oro. And Malinov now following it through, sticking with uh, a lot of traffic through the middle. Danesi beats Ogbogu. Danesi to serve. Yeah, lovely swing. say that Simone Lee has managed to work her way into this game at last. Beautiful kill. Super spike. Second one of this set for Simone Lee. That one stayed here. Lovely set. Nice high jump set. Firing it out of the fingers. Got to come out of the hands quicker than it went in. That's the basics for setting. Stuff from Hancock, wonderful kill from Simone Lee in the USA. Oh, more the back in this match. They've got a huge amount of momentum. The slave still demanding that his blockers be patient. See it, read it, react. Not sure that as a system it's quite as easy to apply in the modern game with the amount of attackers running to the net and the speed at which the ball is transported by the setters, but... Pietrini then. Can't falter, can you, the 19-year-old? She was given a bit of a tough time at the start of this set. But she seems to have recovered very nicely. Ten points to the Wink Spiker's name.
pass. It's coming back. Nicely done by Di Gennaro. Petrini. What a dream hit. I do love the way the Italians are using this slightly left-sided pipe. That can pick up from uh, Hancock, USA redistributed, but that's really nice. It's a little tandem over the top of the middle player. Not up in the 90s yet, but I think give it a couple of years in the gym and we'll see Pietrini hitting the ball hard. Another good shot from Simone Lee. Three big spikes so far in this set for the number 21 for the USA. Set five is calling. Napoli was anti, calling a timeout for Italy. And now, through the back end of this set, this is about preparation for the fifth. Just asking this assistant coach to hit the right button. Zanti's thoughts will not be on winning this set. It will, it will be about his thought process and the team that he wants to put out on court going into the tiebreaker. 15 points will be the target there. 25 still to find in this one. Not beyond the realms that Italy can come back into this, but to find seven points at this level is very, very tough. It's always a player on the other side of the net that can stop the scoring. Annie Drews. That certainly won't get any points back. And I'm not sure that uh, we'll be seeing Caterina Bozzetti on court in the fifth set. On court at the moment. Drews again. Played. Decent pass from the other Bozzetti this year. Nice kill from Indra Sarakaiti uh, against a very well formed block. Pick up Courtney. Pick up from Di Gennaro. Italy, though, still win the point. First libero with a great dig, and then Di Gennaro launches herself. She's got no fear, the Italian libero. Zanti just thinking about momentum and rhythm for the deciding set. He'll take whatever points are on offer here. Nice serve, not the prettiest one you'll see. Can't you right, he calls a timeout. Real luck here for the Italians, despite the very best efforts of Hayley Washington on the try. on then tough call it was always going to be a tough call at the start of the game with the absence of Paola Egonu from the Italian squad five sets as it was likely not there yet that's good hustle oh Sorokaiti just trying to make that into something spectacular one of those clips on social media that you keep looking at. 
but unfortunately she loused it up, so uh, off comes Bozzetti. Great retrieve from Malinov. Uh, USA team fearful that that was coming back. I think Team USA can get the job done from here and get it into a fifth set. And then it's anyone's game. Courtney's been very good in defence, it's certainly like Hancock's turn to uh, skidaddle under the net. Same result, point to the opposition. Courtney, though, playing some good D at the moment for Team USA, the Libero. It's a second bite to the cherry. There's Hayley Washington. She has properly battered that second spike. Super spike it is for the middle player. First hit, good. But it comes back. Second hit, just burst the ball. It's uh, Pietrini under pressure again. Got herself out of trouble. Oh, that's a really good flying attack on the pipe. And at last, the USA get it right. They've been struggling with this during the game. Looks to me like it's a, a bit of a forced play for Hancock. She's put that on a plate for Simone Lee, who has uh, finally come to the party, Lee. Playing some good volleyball now. Ten points to her name. Took her two sets to score three or four. Great serve. And a great block. Hancock has caught Pietrini. And alongside Ogbogu. That's a really good stop at the net. Hancock got all of it. Say have got two really combative setters in Micah Hancock and Carly Lloyd. A position where there is an embarrassment of riches. Polter coming through. Sorokaiti, good dig. But not the second time of asking, so Pietrini puts it away. Now, how much momentum can Italy get? to take in to set five. It is important. USA from here will want to get this over the line quickly. They want to put this away. Three kills will do it. No, too tight. Too ambitious. back on court. It's not a double substitution, so Malinov out of the action. Brilliant dig from Oro. And a brilliant dig from Simone Lee. Ball under control for Italy. And uh, not the prettiest of middle attacks from Danesi. Set came to a very low. She jumps very high and reaches high had to manufacture something here at the end of this mega rally. Really nice defence. Simone Lee with a couple of great pickups. And there you go. That was around about Danese's armpit. And she's just about got a hand on it. Drews. USA go again. Really well turned. And Kingdon is having an excellent game. 17 points to her name. And 
Whenever she's been asked to put the ball away, she's done so on a pretty regular basis. Nicely done off Sodakaiti's outside hand. And Cock to serve. Yeah, very, very good pass from Lucia Bazzetti. And that one up above Danese's head where she wants it so she can reach up and just club that spike. We are heading, I'm sure now, to a fifth and deciding set. USA need one more point. giving it the full treatment Gennaro once again just throwing herself into bodies and chairs to try and get there well, the inevitable delayed Italy will go back to the service line which server is it going to be it is always important when it's a key part of the game but the other key issue here is it's a middle player so there's no Di Gennaro on court no libero no defensive specialist for Italy as Danese serves and down it goes we are going to a tiebreaker set and the USA fans delighted about that plenty of them in here to watch this in the Zopas arena So, here we go, 25-19. It was a little closer than the scoreline uh, would indicate. Strong serving from the USA. No aces, but a lot of pressure put on Pietrini, in particular the uh, teenage wing spiker for Italy. USA will be looking to do that again if she's out on court. The tiebreaker set to 15. But the stat that really matters is it's two sets all, so coin toss to decide who will serve in set five general terms with the rally scoring system it's the attacking team that has the advantage so if you win the toss most teams choose to receive serve rather than serve in this crowd here in the Zopas arena in Canegliano oh, well up for this now so it looks like Lucia Bozzetti has held her place on court and she serves to get this race to 15 underway in the tiebreaker. Who is going to hang on to their unbeaten record? Good strong start from both teams. And a brilliant block. Annie Drews next to Obogu. And that's the biggest block on the USA side of the net. They formed it very well indeed. And young Pietrini just can't get past it. That's gone straight down. Monster block opener then for Drews. USA lead one love. Oh no, that's a double touch. Italian player waiting to set the ball. Patria arriving and basically bumping her out of the way as the contact happened. This is a poor star from Italy. 
Kingdon serves. Pietrini the target, just about passes it. Chilitella can't put it away. Pietrini forced to tip. USA with another point chance here. Drew's tight. Gets the reuse. Lee. Not able to put it away. Drews from off the net. Oh, that's a great job from Annie Drews. That was some put away. And the USA's big shooter in the opposite position doing a great job here. Nice recycle from the Americans. That Drews taking it high, hitting it hard, and the blockers. Blockers getting their timing wrong on the way down as that ball was drilled into them. Time out into them. We've reached that part of the game where some of the technical aspects go out of the window. It's about a bit of heart, a bit of passion down there on court. So, from two sets to one down, they level the score in set four. And move three love up. It's one of the key components of uh, tonight's performance for the USA. Kingdon has passed well and she's attacked well. She served well. Nice slide D run around. In the main, USA have coped particularly well with the Italian middle offence this evening, both in front of and behind the setter. It's been a, a real feast of scoring for Italy through the centre part of the net. Lee blocked, Italy back in, the decider. Great stop from Italy's tallest player, Anna Danesi. Oh, a wonderful shot, that had hit the floor before Lee had landed. What a jump from Lee. Italian captain Cicciarella with the serve. And Played pretty well tonight. She would want that one back. But, uh, that's not the way the rules work. Once it's gone, it's gone. Used to be able to toss the ball up back in the old days. Used to be able to throw the ball up, and if you didn't like the ball toss, you could let it hit the floor and go again. But nowadays, once the ball has left your hands to be served, you've got to hit it or you lose it. Jaka Ogbogu with the serve. Great pass. Not a brilliant set, but Italy are going to get another go here. Oro to Danesi. A real power in that shot. Drews forced to tip as well. Pietrini. Well picked up by Kingdon. High ball out wide to Lee. And it's finished brilliantly. That's two very good hits from the USA in the first six points from a long way off the net. This ball was in the air for a long, long time, and Simone Lee had to sprint in to get hold of it. Sprinting from Oro, not able to bring the ball back into play. Shaka Ogbogu back to the service line. 5-2 USA. Change ends at eight. And this race to 15. No. Well, she played well, Obogu. She's spectacular when she gets it right. 12 points to her name, but a few too many errors within that performance. So to duck those from the 12 and not had quite the effect that she would like on this game. Oh, Drew's over rotating. Sometimes a problem for the left-handers. They can get a little weak on the free arm, on the free side of the body. Now, we're going to see a challenge. Yeah, and Drew's just looking at Karchgarai saying, well, you know, why not? Let's have a punt on this one. Let's ask to see if it's touched the block. Lucas Leib thinks it has. So maybe he was the guiding force in getting that call. Go. TV signal, and does this take the piece of the hands or the shoulder or the ponytail? No. 
The touch. Is it far away? USA lose another point. Lee tips. And those earlier spikes from her helping to set up that opportunity. Basically, the Italian defenders sitting back, waiting, waiting for another big hit from Simone Lee. Coming 6 4 USA. Still anyone's match. Drew serves. Good serve. Whoa, she's belted the cover off that floater. And that's a big ace. Timeout called by Davide Mazzanti. Not much movement on the ball in terms of spin, but that was traveling through the air and curving between the two passes. <laughs> they are fired up, Team USA. It's going their way in set five. Italian crowd trying to get that little bit of atmosphere going for these Italian players, but a few of the Italian side shoulders have dropped. Not looking all that positive coming back onto court. That's a worried look on the setter Otto's face. You were saying control 7 4 in this race to 15. Another good serve, but nicely passed. That is what you want from a world-class libero. Di Gennaro spoke to Pietrini in that last timeout and said, look, get out of the way, I'll take care of it, you'll be available to hit. Three pass, nice finish. Not seen much from Silla, but still up for a dab to celebrate that point, and she might be dabbing again. Oh, dear. USA had control had, I emphasize, control of this fifth set. They are handing it back to Italy right now. Very good serve. Arrived quickly on Lee. Pietrini, though, overcooks that one. And we will go to the change of ends. No technical timeouts in the fifth set. Coaches still have their two that they can call for 30 seconds apiece, but we do have this natural game break sides move from one end of the court to the other to ensure no advantage in the uh, arena the key here even for the experienced players is to try and remember where they were on court when they have to mirror image it on the other side of the net so everyone in place second official from Russia Shabankov just checking that everyone's in the right place Play can resume. Pietrini overpass. Oh, that's a very good play from Hancock. And she could just leave it hanging after that. Always good to have a left handed setter because it means they can spike in a perfectly natural way at the net. Thought about it and then thought, yeah, let's have a go. And that's a really good shot. Three-point lead restored. Simone Lee up to 13 points now. She's really come into this match over the last two sets. Quick to Bozzetti. Works. Oro will always try and fire the ball at her wing spiker, Bozzetti. Fantastic shot. Caterina Bozzetti out. Caterina Bozzetti is in for her service and her backcourt mobility. Problem is, 
Substitution's been made twice now, and Rossetti's missed the serve on both occasions. This time it's in. Decent serve on Courtney. Bit of pressure on Kingdon. She's got the hands. USA moved to double figures. And returned to the three-point lead despite that slightly awkward pass from Courtney. Bozzetti vacates the court. Danesi comes back on. Danesi immediately vacates for the libero. Come back off the block. Great recycle from Italy. Di Gennaro has to just bump it over. Another chance here. Oh, and the players getting in each other's way on the Italian side of the court, but not a problem. Sodakaiti sorts it out. It's amazing, isn't it? 21 points for her in this game, but in a five setter. It's a bit too quiet from Italy's opposite. Can she get a few more points from the service line? Good pass, really good pass. And, uh, might have to see a substitution here because uh, Tiritella, the Italian captain, reaching for that block has just had her shoulder knocked right back. That's going to hurt. Rotator cuffs in the shoulder are always vulnerable. Ooh, yes, especially when you're blocking that far away from your body. Well, she's on court still, but she's hanging that arm. Oh, well played. The captain and middle blocker forced into a bump setting action. Put it on the plate for Bozzetti. Once again, the Italian puts it away. Yeah, great shot, great dig, and a great block. Really lovely passage of play from both teams. Kingdom with the shot through the block, brilliant pick up from Bozzetti. And look at the block alignment there. No swing block, not flying away to the side and swinging the arms, just jumping up straight and shutting it down. Annie Drews has been the difference between the two teams since she's come on. Another point chance, USA. Drews is dug by Bazzetti, but dug into the crowd. USA take another step closer to winning a fifth match in a row. Great run last year when, in the heat of it all, USA put a 10-match consecutive run together. Oh, it's an ace. Well, I, I think this will be challenged. I can't believe that has not been challenged. That's incredible. Well, sometimes that shadow of the ball as it passes the line gives a false impression. But USA not even close to thinking that was in, so they just let it go. Three points in it. Drews, she's been brilliant. Spent most of the match on the bench, but has come in and immediately made an impact to bring it back to two sets apiece. And now taking USA to four match points. Sorokaiti, is it on the baseline? Line judge says yes. Notice just uh, two line judges out there. End court judges, as they are now called. I'm reliably informed by my commentary colleague, Clayton Lucas. Oh, <laughs> and there you go. Annie Drews steps it up and gets the job done. 
Another close one for Karch Kirai and his team. But once again, they come through a fifth set with shining colours. They did it last year in the VNL final, beating Turkey from two sets to love down in set five. And they've done it from 2-1 down against Italy. Their big rivals at the moment at the top of the VNL. So that'll keep Italy down there. Maybe just outside or around the top five, but USA should maintain their place at the top of the tree. Although sets difference will come into it and you don't claim as many points for a 3-2 victory. If it's 3-1 or 3-0, you get three points. But just having to settle for the two if you pick up the 3-2 win, and that might make a difference on the table. There we go, all smiles down there. I think the whole team played the whole game with a very positive attitude, even when it wasn't going their way. Team USA, no Diana Recker on the court today, their tallest player, the middle blocker. But a very good job done by Chuck Ogbogu, her replacement with Hayley Washington. Continuing her great run of form. And here we go, Annie Drews. That's the player you want when the match point's on the line. And it doesn't matter how brilliant Di Gennaro has been today. She wasn't going to bring that one back into play. Drews then with the final kill as the USA beats Italy here in Conegliano by three sets to two. USA 25-22 in the first set. Lost the next one 17-25 and the next one 23-25. But then the comeback started 25-19, 15-11. Another master stroke from Karch Kirai. Puts it all together when it mattered. And the introduction of Annie Drews turned out to be the master stroke. Stars and stripes flying in Italy. So the end of uh, a really interesting day of play. Serbia getting a 3-1 victory against the Dominican Republic. And then a, a fascinating battle, a real back and forth encounter between two informed teams. Italy missing Paola Egonu, maybe.